to play these old songs, so the fact that you applaud. And joy. Um, it's been hard though, like learning all these new songs. I was joking last night, we have this teleprompter, and there's a battle that happens every night between me because there's like two parts of me. There's the part that wants to use the teleprompter and the part that's too prideful to use it, <laughs> even though no one would know. And so I argue back and forth at times where I'm like, oh shit, I can't remember what the lyric is. One side of me says, open your eyes. <laughs> And the other says, no, <laughs> keep them closed. Um, but I think it's good, it's like Sudoku at this point, you know. Do you feel that way, Sarah? Like you just, yeah. do, you fight, do you fight the urge to look at the telephone? I actually find it a bit distracting. Like I think it's good to be, they, as they say in the industry, off book. But I, is that what you're saying you're not looking at it? I, I speak you guys in the front row keep the tabs if you see her. <laughs> I can't see shit. I bet even the front row can't see for our, what our eyeballs are doing. I mean, we can, we're mush to these people. They can't see anything. You can see our foot. I don't know. Like, when I just sometimes I just go stand at the edge of the stage during soundtrack and I'm like, I don't even know if you guys would know if it was really us. <laughs> we would like, people not. are like, this isn't a diss. It's just like, Eyesight, man. Realities. Like, people are like worried about deep fakes, and I'm like, we could be like Trisha and Nadine up here. You don't know anything. <laughs> you don't know anything. You have three rows back, forget about it. You don't know anything. Well, they might be wearing their glasses, though, in which case, or they might be young and you know that. But, I mean, I, speaking of which, I want to also say it's been a while since we've done a theater tour like this, and there's yes. a lot of quietness and we love it. It's so great. But I want to warn people that a lot of people don't know this, but musicians, we all wear in-ears and that's where the sound comes out of. And so it's like right here. So we can't really hear you unless we okay. pop them out. No, it's totally fine. I mean, in between songs, you know, I'll pop them out. But the other night, the most absolutely devastating, heartbreaking, motherfucking thing happened. <laughs> I didn't know that this happened until we got off stage, but I guess in a very quiet moment, a very young person that seemed to be, according to my friends, under the age of 10 or around that age, yelled out, my name's Tegan too. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't hear it in my, so I just was like. <laughs> just started a fucking song and just moved on. And I can't stop thinking about it. And I put it up on I might have to, yeah, it just occurred to me. I guess I could make a little video. But it was just devastating because afterwards everyone was like, it was the cutest moment. And I'm like, I'm the devil. <laughs> they worked up all our courage. I just imagined I think myself. It's building, I actually think it's building resilience. You know, I think. <laughs> and, I can just, and I can say that now as a parent. Um, according to all the news and like the pediatrics of whatever and all of the things. We are doing too much for our children, and so I think a famous person ignoring a little child is actually it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No. Like I'm not saying it's not sad. Tegan and I to this day, like, look, some shit happened in our lives when we were growing up. I'm not saying it was anyone's fault, but if you asked me right now, you said, "Tell me the most traumatized, traumatizing thing that happened to you when you were roughly." You know, between the ages of 8 and 10, I would have said, one time my mom, we went to 7-Eleven, actually it was Max. We went to Max and we all got Slurpees, and then we were riding our new mountain bikes home, and she put her Slurpee in between the brake and the little, you know, thing, and she was like, look at me, I don't even have to hold it, and then it fell, and I was devastated for like, like a whole year, you know? Yeah, so now imagine you're that same age and you go see... Potentially, I mean, if I can't right. imagine it, and what I'm trying to tell you, Tegan, is the kid will be fucking fine. It's not right. But look, you just brought it up, we're all, it's like been 400 years and you just brought up that story like it was yesterday. That's what I'm trying to say is, is that now we don't want our kids to do, now people would be like, you ignored my child, I need you to send a video to my child so that I can show it to them every birthday on the anniversary of when you ignored them at the show. And they're also in psychoanalysis now, and I hope you're happy. But that's what I'm saying is like, let kids feel upset. Okay, so in case anyone's keeping track for the internet later, Sarah wants to traumatize your children as a lesson that will help them later on in life. And 
I'm just telling you, if you are going to yell at me, make sure it's really loud. 